Hey, hey everyone, I'm Fetchana House is back again with another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, on this uh, short Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate this uh, text file over here and also final, uh, end it with uh, this uh, animation. Uh, same as we did uh, on, the, on the intro uh, for this tutorial. So I um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you follow this up. So, uh, first thing, uh, I'm going to leave the, the Cinema 4D template and also the After Effects template for you guys to work around this. and. Uh, and just uh, to start things uh, easily and uh, the first thing I'm going to do now is uh, go in on here on the animation and uh, hide this so uh, so we can have a, a project to, to start first so uh, I'm going to the to the text file over here I'm going to put the text and I'm going to write motion graphics okay and for the font uh, you also will need to download the font uh, interline uh, it's a free font, you can uh, find this uh, very easily. So uh, the reason that I choose this is uh, because uh, this text already has some cost points uh, around it. And then when you edit uh, the text, uh, it looks really cool uh, to make this kind of animations uh, for text. So uh, once we center it, once we have this center, we can start uh, animating this. So uh, I'm going to press C to edit this to a spline. Now I'm going to join a circle to put this on around 0 0.5 and I'm going to put also a sweetener uh, that the sweeteners are going to animate uh, the whole the full text so I'm going to put this uh, of a child of a sweetener and we're ready to get this thing on going so uh, let me just check this out over here so okay so I'm going to just uh, start to customizing the sweetener so we, so we can have uh, the second sweetener and uh, the same effect that we did on the color. So on the end scale, I'm going to put this on around 150, which should be good for start. And the end rotation to around 130. Yeah, 130 is cool for, for us to get this uh, thin lines uh, over here. So uh, on the end growth, uh, I need to animate this. So I'm going to put on the end growth uh, on the start, I'm going to set a first keyframe on zero and just push this to around 80 or 90. 90 should be better. I'm going to put this on 100. I'm going to press control, set a keyframe, and if you press play, you see that your text already is uh, reading up uh, by splines. So um, I think it's a cool thing to, to share here at the effect. So uh, this is very easy to do and uh, it's easy to follow up. So um, once that I have my first line, I'm going just to make just a few more adjustments. Probably this on 131 should be cool. And I'm going to Control C, Control V, just to duplicate this. And I'm going to start colorizing this one. So the first one is going to be the this pink color, and the second one is going to be blue. What I need now to do is just to bring the the, the second sweet nerves to around just probably 20 frames more, so 90, we're down 110, yeah, 110 should be cool. So we can have a different motion on this, and now we need to adjust a little bit uh, the second sweetener. So I'm going to put this end scale to around, around 70, that should be nice, and the end rotation to around 320. That should be cool. So uh, now that you see that we already have uh, the text, uh, like with big pieces of uh, blue and uh, and pink. So I think this is already working cool. So uh, yeah, it's already looking cool. So but we can also push just a little bit of the end scale, a little bit more, so we can see a little bit more blue. So uh, you can adjust this on a lot of ways. Uh, and put a lot of colors on this uh, only by adjusting the end scale and the, uh, the end rotation of it. So uh, it's a quick tutorial. And uh, for this, it's just like that. So um, yeah, I think it's cool. But we can also increase a little bit more the end scale of the blue one. So we can see a little bit of more blue pieces. Yeah, it's looking better now. So if you make a render on this, you see 
that this is already working cool with bits of uh, blue and bits of, um, of pink. And uh, now I'm going to show you how to make uh, this last animation that we did uh, on, the, on the 3D packs. So uh, you can even also increase a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to increase a little bit more the end scale of this one and decrease a little bit the end scale of the first one so just we can see it changes around yeah okay, now we have more blue so we can put this a little bit more and now it should blend a little bit better yeah, yeah it blends a little bit better so um, uh, when you have this then just going to push this a little bit more because I see a lot of blue on the end and I want to see this on the final with both yeah with both colors so uh, let's make just another quick render you can also just copy the, the animation that I did here uh, to match a little bit more uh, but I think we're cool on this one. But um, seems a lot of seems that this is a lot of pink over here because I need more blue on this. So if I need more blue, I'm just going to push the end scale a lot more higher. So when we bend it now, we get this more blended. I think. And, and then you can just continue dupli uh, duplicating your, your sweeteners and then uh, adjusting more colors on this and uh, uh, also adjusting the, the sweeteners uh, and scale and the uh, end rotation. So uh, we just try to put a little bit of more end rotation on this. Yeah, the principle here was just to, to show you how to animate that text and uh, just to how you could combine uh, the difference of the uh, of the sweet notes so you can have, so you can have like uh, different colors uh, on this uh, on this uh, spline note so um, I think we're good to go so you can also continue testing a lot of stuff you also have the, the first animation that I did here and copy the values I didn't want it to, to copy the values I wanted to make a, 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 like a new thing and a different thing and uh, this is what we get, so uh, uh, we can also make the second text over here uh, that I did and uh, just push a text over here, just write put. I think I already did this uh, tutorial, but I'm going to show uh, to people that uh, that didn't saw that tutorial how can I how can I reanimate that text and uh, make it a cool thing, so I'm going to put another text over here as you see, just going to decrease a little bit more and place it around here. That's okay. So, and so we have this text. I'm going to extrude nerves, uh, press Alt to make the text travel of, uh, of the of the extrude nerves. Just push a little bit more, and now you can add a graph fracture over here. And now just press to this. Exposed segments to connect. Now we have our text uh, all breaking uh, up because of the fracture, and now we can set an effector that is shaded over here and just bring this guy like around 90 to the right, to the left, and we can put the fall off to linear. That's okay. What, we, what this is going to do. It's going to, to animate this text, so I'm going to fracture. I have the effects of the shader, and one going on the shader, I'm going to put this to minus one, and also just turn a little bit of rotation on here, just to have a little bit of randomness. So what at the point that my text is almost finishing reading, I'm going to animate the this shader, so I'm going to set a keyframe on the shader over here, 
and when it finishes writing, I'm going to push my my shader around here and set another keyframe. And let's just make a play on this and see how this is going. Yeah, you see that the text already appears and it rotates. And now we just need a uh, like a light mograph uh, effect over here that you see going to the fracture and I'm going to put a delay so we have a little bit of bounce on the on the text effect so I'm going to effect her bring the strength a little bit more and put this on spring and when I press play it's probably already have a little bit of bouncing text yeah it's like that so uh, you can also change a lot of the of the of the bounciness so you can put a little more strength or a lot of strength if you put a lot of strength uh, the text uh, is bouncing a lot around so uh, you just need to push a little bit as you see the text already have a lot of uh, a lot of bounce so uh, that is it I think the, the animation is okay uh, you can test a lot more but we can also decrease a little bit of the blue because I'm seeing a lot of blue on this and I just need to go to my my blue signals and just put the end scale to a little less and if you see around here it looks a lot uh, a lot better so I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, the tutorial was this just to, to show you how to animate uh, this uh, sweet nerves uh, with a cool text so uh, uh, make your things make your tests and um, send it to the link below that I will uh, I will send a comment that I will leave a like there so uh, Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the tutorial and uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, to follow up our stuff uh, here at the FX Channel House, guys. So, um, hope to see you soon. Uh, hope to see you on a new tutorial or a new client project. And uh, cheers, guys.